Today we are going to assemble a hydrogen energy generator. With the help of electricity, this generator will turn regular water into hydrogen fuel. <laughs> we will get the hydrogen by the electrolysis of the water. We need a plastic container. The container for the electrolysis mustn't conduct electricity. And we are going to use these metal plates for the best conductivity. These plates can be cut out from a bigger sheet easily with scissors. I've cut these plates accordingly to the bottle. And they are 13 altogether. And now I need to put something between them. We don't need the plates to touch each other. The skin requires 4mm spaces between the plates. So I glued some plastic of appropriate size. And now we need to weld the wires to the side plates. Fixing them together, putting them down in the container and fill the container with some distilled water. The optimum voltage between the plates is 2 volts. But I have a source of 12 volts, so I've connected the plates in series parallel. There are 6 plates in 2 rows. Initiating first test. One bubble. Honestly, I thought it would be more spectacular. I already see some bubbles, but the reaction is going so slowly. The thing is that the distilled water doesn't conduct electricity very well. And we need a catalyst. I want to enhance the electrolysis process, and some alkaline would serve me well as a catalyst. But it's a hard thing to find some pure alkaline. So I have to use a drain cleaner that contains sufficient amount of alkaline. And this one contains 30% of alkaline. We have got 300 mA at once. The reaction began and we are having the hydrogen little by little. We've decided to check out how a teaspoon of this drain cleaner will influence the process. Now you can see for yourself, the generated current amount increases while the catalyst is alkaline. I dip it like this and we can see the amperage grows. Now we are going to collect the hydrogen. First, get a cap on the hole, then fasten a hose with no leaks and seal the wires. Firstly, I'm sealing the wires and after all this I attach the tube. After the hermetization, the reaction goes even more vigorously than I expected. As a result, 11 amperes and the power supply can't take so much. I want to feel the power of the hydrogen with my own hands. I'm giving you some tiny cute bubbles. And look what's going to happen now. <laughs> that was loud, I didn't expect this. Did you feel anything? No, I didn't. I didn't feel anything at all. Now we are going to show you how powerful this hydrogen is. You will see this outstanding power of the hydrogen. We will just put a tiny amount of this explosive mixture to the bag. You think that's enough? What did you feel? How was it? At first I thought that there was no gas already, get it? Because I had burned some edge of the bag and nothing happened. Well... And then I lit the center of the bag and BOOM! There came a flash in front of me and I didn't expect it to happen. That was so loud that it deafened me a little. Hydrogen is a dangerous thing, I tell ya. That is why we are showing it to you. So you wouldn't try it yourself, my viewers. We are professionals, so we can. The name of the next experiment is The Good Morning. We are going to fill up a balloon with an explosive mix. Then we will attach a small wig to it and throw it up in the air. When this balloon will be high enough, you will hear the loud boom. That will wake everyone. And yeah, we will do it early in the morning. The process doesn't go fast, though we're using 100 watts of energy. The brown gas we got is lighter than air, so the balloon will fly. Here we go, there's no way back. Let it go. Perfect. You did hear that, right? That was a real blast. It was roaring. Hey, it's... Oh, it's alright. That was a hen.
As you saw it, the hydrogen fuel is truly powerful and it can become a fuel future. What do you think about making some fuel again and run a car on it and never buy petrol again? Suggest your thoughts and we will do it! Thank you for the donation on Patreon guys, you're keeping us alive!